Hey, in today's video, I want us to talk about why you need playing your life. Doing something just because it's fun, it gives you joy, it gives you pleasure. So let's talk a little bit about that. In our society, there's such a big emphasis on productivity. And the weird thing is that play is such a big part of our lives when we're kids. And then somewhere along the line, once you become an adult, people begin to reward you and recognize your efforts for being a good worker, having a really high output when it comes to making money or just always being involved in something that is productive. It's actually only fair that you have play in your life when you're expected to be such a productive worker and human being 24-7. Oddly enough, the first time I ever thought about why you should have play in your life was when I read Karl Marx, A Strange Labor. Marx analyzes workers, and of course they were in a factory setting back then, but it still applies to today. He analyzes workers' relationship with their job, and they realize that they have no connection to their labor because they don't get to do the labor from beginning to end. Meaning, they are in some kind of assembly line, they're just a little piece of the puzzle and they do it over and over and over again. If I think about what I do during my day job every day, it comes down to sending emails, picking up the phone, and very random and isolated tasks that have very little to do with who I am as a human being and that are only one small part in a long chain of events in which other people do a bunch of little tasks as well. And Marx believed that this dissatisfaction with our labor was why so many people are pushed to find pleasure in food, sex, and drugs. And of course, those things alone in moderation may not be bad for you, but because you're so dissatisfied with your job, you can actually develop an imbalanced relationship with those sources of pleasure and that's how we get into things like addiction but unfortunately even a lot of people that do manual labor today are not able to have a connection with their job for example if you think of people that build houses most of them are building a house for somebody else they don't get to live in the house they don't get to keep the money from selling the house so again there's a lack of connection with your labor even though i think most of us can tell that it's important to have play and fun in your life in a society that rewards productivity rewards being rich rewards having possessions traveling doing stuff all the time having a busy calendar i think most of us lose sight of that play actually a lot of us feel guilty when we don't do anything or when we do something that is not productive meaning we don't make money or other people don't feel like it's a productive endeavor biggest lessons I learned this year is that it's okay to spend your time on things that give you joy and nothing else. The crazy thing is I thought I learned this lesson a while back. The reason why I started taking martial arts a few years back, I don't have a logical reason to take martial arts. But then I sat down and thought about those thoughts. Why do I need some logical explanation to do something that brings me joy? And I decided to take martial arts for no reason other than it felt like it brought me joy. But of course, in classical Maylene fashion, play turns into work. I've actually always prided myself in saying things like, work is play and play is work. But actually, that's very unhealthy. If you don't have a single outlet that isn't in some way providing you some monetary value or some sense of productivity, you're a very imbalanced person. However, a few things happened this year that really convinced me of how important it is to just have play and rest in your life. Of course, there's the whole 2020 year in which, like I said, we were forced to just slow down. And in that time, my cousin actually gifted me a Nintendo Switch with Animal Crossing. I remember playing Animal Crossing in high school, but I never owned the game. So I just had this faint memory of like picking up oranges off the ground. <laughs> but at some point in time, I actually stopped playing video games altogether. For a while back, I was super obsessed with Minecraft. But around the time that I started painting and going to martial arts, I stopped playing video games because I felt like it's just not a productive thing to do with my time. And especially when you play something like Minecraft, I felt like I need at least three to five or seven hours to commit to this game <laughs> if I'm gonna sit down and open it. But then that meant that every single thing I was pursuing in life basically is in some way tied to work or an activity that demands productivity or that I demand 
myself to get better at it or put more effort and that's actually very unhealthy and of course you can go to bars you can go to concerts and stuff like that which i did but i actually don't consider those things to be play anymore i feel like all the things that society tells you to do for fun as an adult are just ways to get you to spend money and get you distracted from your unhappiness that exists in your life because everybody has some kind of source of unhappiness it's inevitable and this year i actually really learned to honor my need for rest and my need for play and there were so many saturday mornings in which i just laid in my bed and played animal crossing and i can't even remember the last time i did that ever i can't really remember any recent memories of me just laying in bed and just honoring my need for rest or just like not wanting to be productive in that moment in time but of course as the year went by not only was i feeling guilty about not doing anything at times but I also started to feel really guilty about even just playing Animal Crossing like should not be working on my YouTube, should not be painting, getting better, should not be working on my website because it's outdated <laughs> and then the other thing that really inspired me to look at play in a different way I started learning to read tarot and somehow along the way I really became interested in this oracle deck called Sacred Revels and it's supposed to be an oracle deck that gives spiritual guidance to creative people that feel that they just go about life a little bit differently people that are not satisfied with the way that things are going in life and in society and they want to use their talents to change those things i read this beautiful card in this deck it's called dream a beautiful dream the urge to create has the same magical ability to draw harmony into being and to find beautiful order in chaos this includes bringing harmony and the perfect balance of well-being into your body, mind, and emotions. Give yourself permission to feel and be beautiful in many ways. You are meant to dream of beauty and to create beauty in its far more holistic and creative definition. Beauty is meant to soothe the soul, inspire thoughts of love, devotion, and appreciation, and to balance the nervous system. These are healing effects. Healing for the creator and those that receive it. They are worthwhile. They are not meaningless, impractical, flippant, or trivial. A world without the beauty of art, in all its various and unique interpretations, would be less colorful, less vibrant, less cheeky, less healing place to be. Time that you spend dreaming of beauty and allowing it to be born through you in various heart-centered ways is worthwhile. Don't disregard it or discount it. The most beautiful dreams can inspire the practical, hard-working dedication required to bring them to life for the betterment of the world. And I just thought that was such a beautiful message. Anything that brings you a sense of beauty, harmony, peace is worthwhile, is worth putting the effort in. You should not feel guilty because you're doing something out of pleasure, it because, it because it only brings you joy and no monetary value. And unfortunately, I feel like especially our generation with social media, one of the downsides is you're seeing what everybody else is doing and you feel like you're going at a slower pace like you need to be doing more 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 you need to be hustling i mean there's entire social media pages about how to hustle be a boss babe and it's just so tiring and there aren't really that many places telling us to just enjoy have fun play but they are just as valuable to the things that you create if you think about it haven't you had some crazy good ideas when you're in the shower? And it's so funny because when you're in the shower, for some reason, it's okay to just let go and just feel. And it's one of the very few moments in our day when like that is okay and when that is the purpose of where we're at. And today, I just want to give you a friendly reminder that if for whatever reason you have felt guilty about not doing enough in this past year or maybe you've been dedicating a lot of time to play and you feel like you should be more productive I want to welcome you to actually let go of those feelings and honor the need for play, honor the need for rest because they're just as valuable to you as a human being than being productive and making money and while of course on a practical level we do have to figure out how to pay our rent we have to figure out how to make our dreams happen. I think it's really important that we give ourselves little bits of time that are just for us. And I just want to share that idea with you in case you've been struggling with those feelings because we have just so many messages around us telling us to do the opposite, telling us to be busy, 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 get things done, achieve, attain. And there are moments in time where we just don't want to do that, don't need that. And it's okay. You also deserve to just experience pleasure, peace, play 
for no other reason than you just want to feel joy or you want to rest. And that's really all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. If you still are, subscribe if you like to continue talking about world domination. Guys, I'm so excited to wrap up this year. And I just want to say thank you for watching my channel. This is the first year ever that I actually made a video every week or very close to because I know I took a few breaks. But thank you guys so much for following me on this journey and I'll see you in the next one.